Hey guys, and welcome back to The Infected. So today we're gonna do a quick video. We're gonna take a look at all the base builds and different designs I've done over uh, probably the last couple of seasons. I don't know if I can get the originals. I would like to do a looking back on how far The Infected has come since like day one. Um, so this is the first base we built though on our main save. So as you can see, we're located right here. I don't I have shown this base a few times, but we finally came back, cleaned up the trees, cleaned everything up on it. So as you can see, I was experimenting around. We built different styles of towers, different entrance ways. And uh, we'll just run in there and check it out really quick. So this is also where most of the power for this save comes from. So as you can see here, we've got a nice little entrance way. Uh, little gatehouse looking type area. And you can come in here. And obviously this was built before the roads. <laughs> so there's a little, uh, little oopsie right here. But yeah, like I said, every tower is different. This one uh, was made bigger. I meant to like make it actually one wider on two sides. But I mean, it looks pretty nice still, and it overlooks the road, so it's not bad. Lights in every tower, so it looks nice at night. Iron doors, again, you can walk through every wall. It's only one wide, though. But this is, uh, this is one of the original bases. We fixed the roof and everything else at least a little bit. I guess we could put another another corner piece on there. I think this is my favorite tower out of these two because it's just square and everything lines up. Just looks cleaner. Now I do like the way, like I said, this is the original base. Uh, a lot of tutorial videos were made here, but uh, I do like the way this porch ended on the back. So we've got stairs right here, obviously, so it's it's seamless transition. And then you just walk out here to, and, and do fishing. Get you some tuna and stuff. Now, yeah, you could probably put a uh, another foundation or something in there or raise it up now. Uh, back in, the, I think back when I built this, you couldn't. You, we didn't have as many build options. We still still have a lot of collision issues. But I'm sure we could put something here, like a gate or whatever, to, to kind of block it in some. But either way, I still like it, and it looks like I said, it looks nice at night. But most of our power is generated here at this wind farm. Uh, water house stuffed in the corner here. But yeah, if y'all watched uh, how to make, uh, how to get max hit points and how to max your stats videos, this is where it was created at <laughs> a long, long time ago. I don't even know how old this base is. It's probably at least six months ago since I actually used this base for anything. This is where you turn our flashlight on. It's probably a little dark in here. All right. Now we're gonna head on outside and take a look out here. Like I said, there's not much here, not a lot going on. We're gonna head to the other side of the base in a minute. So I've been grabbing copper for the main base. I wanna get my shelves filled back up, and we're kinda low on copper. Let's see, we don't need that, and we don't need that. But yeah, that's the main base. There's the original outside fire, or garden before we had the greenhouses. Um, here's the inside one where we're experimenting around. We had more than just three at one point. The old forges before we had the brick forge, like I said, uh, first time I started double stacking shelves, I believe it's, no, it was actually, that was on an older save, never mind. But yeah, so we're gonna run to the uh, the next base and take a look at it and I'll be right back. Hey guys, and so our second base build we're gonna go over today is gonna be the village that we've built. So if you look here on the map, we built right here. If you've watched my games before, you know this is where most of our new content is created at. So we're just gonna take our one of our original bridges across And then as you remember, we use these to kind of make like little trails slash roads to our uh, buildings before the roads existed. That looks like we got some crates left over here we need to clean up. All right, and here we have the church. One of the bigger builds we've done. And we'll walk in here and take a look. So we got like a seating area in the front here. Um, I like the lighting in here, like I said, it's really rustic and medieval style looking. And the ceiling came out nice, it's uh, three stories high. <laughs> and then from here, it's like a good church slash, uh, you know, town meeting place. Uh, I think it's like two or three hundred chairs, I can't remember. It's been a long time since we messed with it. And we have videos on how we built it and how long it took. And then both towers are mirrored to each other. And there's a balcony on the second floor that we can go to. 
push lights on these. And then there's our craft house, our uh, 50 iron gathering, the old pump, the clay extractor and all the all that good stuff. And then there's the powerhouse, we're still working on it. Like I said, we just built a little balcony over here. And at the end of the video, guys, we'll go over the new build that we're currently working on. We haven't done a lot here because of it. And we'll show it briefly at the very end. And then we got the powerhouse here. We're still working on adding storage here so we can keep a bunch of extra supplies for all the new updates as they come out. Um, we need to add more batteries still. All those crates will eventually be on these shelves once we finish them. And then we come up here. We've already got the new solar panels laid out and then we got tons of iron up here ready to go to start filling these up and we're not going to jump off that because I don't want to break a leg and I've got foliage turned off because if you don't build in one of the flat mining zones then you're, you have foliage coming through all your foundations this, that still didn't cancel the foliage out and then here's where we first built uh, like a lumber mill to get this village started our first greenhouse <laughs> where we eat and stuff. Here's the smithy that we built. So we've got all of our crafting workbenches in here, some extra storage, lots of lighting, um, a couple of extra ingots. We don't really craft in here anymore. Uh, the only thing we really do make over here is concrete or cement and bricks. But we do have three of the big forges here, uh, an anvil outside. And then we'll start with from here and work our way back. Um, down here we do have a bridge though. Sorry, this is just, like I said, if you haven't seen my previous videos on my other builds and stuff, this is just what we use for taking screenshots from the top. And that was their first glass house we built um, before there was land right there. Used to, that was just open water where you could fish. And then here's one of our original bridges before the foundation update. So it, it was built level using just walls from the, like a off of a foundation underwater. So if you don't want foundations to build a bridge, you can do it that way. I've got a video on that too if anybody's interested in how to do that. Um, this was a, uh, we still got logs over here. Uh, so we harvest those really quick so they'll disappear. And we still had some land on the ground. Uh, this is a triple wide bridge built the same way as the other one. We just, uh, it took a while, it took a lot of guessing, it took a lot of guesswork. You just put a foundation and just the height on it and build a wall off of it. And then eventually we got the level we wanted. And then we had the two foundations at the front for stairs. The hard part, like I said, is to uh, get them to line up so they're seamless. That was going to be our castle, but it's now sitting on the road. So we're, we're giving up on that build. Again, we've, we've got lights everywhere for the trails. So it looks like it's an actual village. And then here's the largest house we've built so far because I wanted different floor plans on houses. So we've added, I'll turn the flash on because it looks like it's a little dark. So we got furniture in here. We've got like these that we can use like fireplaces. That's that's uh, just to add some decor. A little bathroom, washroom area. And then two bedrooms on this house. And then a fully equipped kitchen. Of course, what good's a house without a kitchen, right? Or with a pantry. <laughs> Don't really have, you know, a lot of uh, stuff to decorate with, so we just put shelves in here so it looks like an actual pantry. Water house or a little power box to tell us what all we have going on. As you can see, we've got tons of buildings, tons of power. <laughs> then we have our first house that we built here. When all the magic started. Again, fully equipped living rooms, kitchen, a nice little wash area, I guess. And then another little bedroom off of here. And then we built this with like a little L-shaped porch on it. And then you come inside and this is probably more like a real house <laughs> to me, in my opinion. Because you come back here, you get two separate bedrooms. little back porch go down to the water and then another kitchen 
like you're next to the porch. All right, then we're going to head up here and take a look at the craft house and the hot mess we have made up here. <laughs> Pretty much where we spent most of our time. So here we've got the garage set up. You can drive it out, as you can see there. We've got the truck loaded up where we've been doing a bunch of work. And we just put a fence around it just to kind of make it look a little bit neater. And we have lights on it, so we'll do we'll uh, sleep and check out the nighttime view in a second. Because uh, I really like the lighting. I think the lights look great in this game. Uh, we do need to still rearrange this, as you can see, that when the road came through, it... Uh, change the layout of the base so you can no longer use the front door and then <laughs> those are all free floating still and again that tower right there is just built for taking screenshots but we have tons of extractors up here get a little bit of meat over here for when we're crafting and then all of our specialty oil extractors and our clay extractors are over here and then if we come this way we can get a better view of everything And this is the largest building we've built. Well, it was the largest building we built <laughs> until we get to the new build on the other side of the map. So this is a staircase we had to add just to get in. Used to this was sat on like level ground. So coming here we've got all of our fuel, lumber making station, our planks. Got nice lighting in here everywhere. Uh, we kind of started like a bridge off the back of here. Which we might take all the way across just so we can get back and forth easier. But with the truck, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can get places so quickly. Um, this is like our storage area. Where we just drop off all the crates when we do ingots. Which we, we got quite a few in here already. Don't really need any more right now. And we keep all of our coal up here. So that we can keep these bad boys burning. I think there's 15, 13 or 15 of these. We got the trash can, crafting station, and wool, and all that good stuff here. We got crossbows made over here. Little area for clothes as the weather changes. And then, of course, this is the craft house. Y'all have seen this a hundred times. <laughs> it's good. It's just, um, I've, if I remember right, it's like 20, 22,000 ingots. Um, it's pretty full right now. We're like maxed out waiting for new, uh, new updates to come. And we've taken a lot of stuff across the map for the new build. But uh, I mean, we've still got plenty of extra. Like These are full of aluminum and iron and all the extra stuff. And like I said, each rack is different. We have two rows of everything. So down here, it's... Uh, double stacked aluminum, double stacked copper, double stacked cobalt, and then it just rinses and repeats. So that's too high of iron. This is iron, aluminum, copper, cobalt. And then that whole back row is steel. This row right here is, well, what is that called? Lead? Yeah. So we've got these two rows of lead. And because we have so much iron, we've got another row of iron up here. All four tires go up. This is all of our extra scrap metal that we haven't been using. Then we put like a little bedroom up here just to uh, sleep through the days. And then we added a bunch of refrigerators here to keep all of our extra food in. I don't think we have that much food right now. Uh, we got some a couple of extra things in here. But every tower is mirrored to itself. And then we have a greenhouse with one of every vegetable on this floor. And we've been glassing it in as we go. I still got some storage up here where we we were making onion soup and doing all the tutorials as y'all have seen on my videos. We got uh, four stoves up here so we can cook everything quickly and for like onion soup, tons of pots. Uh, just one pan up here because we didn't really need any extra. We already maxed out on hit points. So if we go to here, you can see our health is at 300, stamina is at 300, and most of our stats are at 200. We still have vitamins that we need to do, I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So watermelon, melons, tons of onions. <laughs> And all the potatoes and corn in the world. That little extra power that we just stashed in here. And you always look down and everything. I do like the glass, it's really nice. Then we'll head to the top. And up here, this, well, I hadn't decided yet I might put glass across this. I'm not sure yet. It's just a really expensive investment. And I was going to put the kitchen up here originally. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I guess it's just a cool feature. Just a little hangout spot. <laughs> and we did put a wraparound balcony on this whole thing, so it's kind of cool. You can't jump off of it, unfortunately. Or maybe that's for the best, because I'd probably end up killing myself. Alright, and that does that is the village build. So like I said, in the video we'll have the new build, and then we're gonna go check out one more base that we have on another save. And I'll be right back. As promised, it's nighttime now, so I just wanted to show the lights off real quick. Um, and most of my videos are all made in daytime. 
But uh, yeah, as you can see here, all the lighting is nice. Good shadows and stuff. Like, I really enjoy that about this game. How good everything looks. And we lit this place up. We finally added in some actual lighting here. I feel like we need just a little bit more. <laughs> and then my favorite feature, like I said, the church looks great at night too, obviously. But uh, it's always dark in there anyway, so we don't need to run over there. We got lights on the garage so we can see our way in and out. And then with the pot lights that we have laid out, you can see the little trails going every which way. The church glows because there's so many lanterns inside of it. It cannot be contained. And then let's ease down here. And we got lanterns and stuff inside of like the windows, so they look really nice. And they're popping. But just a nice little village, nice little home. This house is a little dark. I need to add some more lights to it. And you come down here, like I said, everything just looks really nice like this. You see a clear trail marked out. No getting lost here. We can run up here and you can actually see the village usually. If you look down on it, I mean, everything's clear. It looks nice. You can tell there's buildings everywhere. All right, so let's go check out the other build. This is probably one of my favorite base builds we did back on one of the Fresh Start series. This was right uh, right before we got spike traps. So as you can see here, we actually started playing around with the spike traps after we started this base. This is also when they first started letting us elevate the foundations as high as they are. So I wanted to build an elevated base, which is why the house is so high. So we've got uh, I want to say, uh, three three high on the spike traps because it was before you could upgrade them. So I wanted to make sure there's enough to keep the vampies out. And then besides that, we put a lot of work into this one to get like the foundations squared up and go all the way around. I like the way that these are elevated. You can't really build anything under them, but uh, well, you can build a couple of things, but not much. And we get we have gates on all four sides. We have doors on all four sides. Uh, of course, on the back, we do like we normally do. We started with a little camp and worked our way up. So <laughs> two drying racks, this little guy with campfire and the ponds right here. Right. And then as we slowly started getting blueprints and unlocking everything, we started putting in mineral extractors. We get the water house, which can stack through, or you know, it can go through four pieces or ceiling pieces. Uh, we've got our extractors here. We've got uh, iron extractors over here on this side of the base. And then if we go inside, it's just a nice little crafting room on the first floor. And again, like I said, all sides open up. But we just got a little bit of everything in here because a lot of new stuff came out while we were doing this build when we started a fresh playthrough. And then we'll go up to the next floor. We've got our tools and weapons as we come in and out of the building. Next floor, of course, is always ingot storage. So we tried a different setup this time. So we did like uh, one, then two, then one. Came out pretty nice. We we're going to continue stacking them across. There is a problem with building like this, though, <laughs> and it's the graphics card. If you build everything on top of itself like this and all this tight together, your GPU, if you watch it, is going to like cap out. So if you start lagging and stuttering, you probably have too much stuff built together. That's why a lot of these fire pots are turned off because they eat up a ton of uh, GPU usage. And then up here, we got like a little bedroom, a little house built out. And then we got some pet birds hanging out with us. Uh, just a little closet storage room area. Then we have the kitchen, of course. Always big on making a good kitchen. And then living room area. Uh, if I remember right, a lot of this furniture is brand new at this time, too. And then we come out here. Again, we're on the third floor. We've got the walk around balcony all the way around. And then we built our greenhouse elevated also, because this was also when you could build the stairs up higher, or the wood ramps. So we put us a greenhouse up here. It's got a nice view. We put all of our wind turbines, and we're going to put solar panels here on either side. It was the original plan. And then, like I said, wind turbines on both sides, that's what powers this whole place. But again, this was, this was one of my favorite builds that we did. However, the, like I said, the GPU just can't handle. And I want to say it's between the fire pots and all the spike traps. Once you get a ton of those going, it just it takes a lot out of the game. Or a lot of your graphics unit. But there's no truck. <laughs> we didn't, like When we played this, we didn't have trucks, we didn't have roads and all that yet. So we're still running with the log cart back then. I think we had just gotten caves. But yeah guys, so that's this base build. Like I said, it's triple high. Spike traps all the way around. 
I couldn't stack a fourth back when I tried. Still, or if I could, it, it didn't. It didn't look right. But here, you just it's the same thing as if you're stacking fences. You just hold X and you can mouse pull, and that's what we did here. And my original plan too was to put glass all the way around these, like just not on the front, because you know that would make logical sense. But to put glass here and then like a glass ceiling above it, and like have just like a, a hallway for wind. I thought that would look pretty cool, but <laughs> even my new graphics card, it's it's still uh, like I'm running a 3080 Ti right now, and it's uh it's still pretty intense. It's, it's uh, running at like 85 to 100 percent, depending on what part of the building I'm in and how much stuff's turned on. All right, so we're gonna take a look and see if we have any other builds to showcase, and uh, just trying to give you guys some more ideas. Well, you're in in luck, guys. I finally found the original main base on our first save ever when we first started playing the infected. So that is it over there. <laughs> it's built in a weird location. It's next to this village now. It is. It was originally built like on this flat zone, but once the map changed, everything got moved around. It's in a completely different, weird location. I could only find it because of all the log carts, I guess, that are around it. So this is the original base. It's a throwback to the start of the Infected series. This is where we started recording and making content. So as you can see, we've got a pyramid that's made full of, uh, completely out of uh, brick and cement, except for the very bottom. A lot of it's covered up now. Obviously the ground's grown up on it. I don't even know if we can get in there. There used to be a, a really fancy front door on it. <laughs> or maybe we're at a different angle. So the tower is here, that's the pyramid. Yeah, this used to be like way off the ground. So there's, I don't know how much. If we can squat down. Yeah, you can see the stairs, like how, like this thing used to be 30 stories high. I don't know how, how tall it is now, let's see. Yeah, so that it's only 25 stories tall now. So there's five stories of this under this, <laughs> under this hill, which means that's where the rest of this is at. Cause it was 20, 25 stories by itself. But yeah, there's, there's no function to the pyramid. It was just, uh, built it on a whim when we first got like the log cart and everything just looking for another large build uh, we can't even get up there from here really huh because I didn't finish this all right let's head back down now I guess there's nothing else left these are only left because they were so tall because there used to be a whole base with solar panels and all kinds of good stuff so yeah it's buried somewhere out here so this is where the original sawmill video was made this is First solar panels, first power. I was hoping to be on the low side. That'd be nice if it was like over here in the water somewhere. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, it looks like I was right, and the base is actually now under this hill, and there's nothing left of it. Pretty nice little base. You have to go. Like I said, I guess you have to go check out the old videos if anybody wants to see that video. All right, guys. So the next uh, part of this video will be the new reveal of our current base that we're building. That's on par with these size buildings. So I'll see you in just a minute. And this is it, our current and latest build. We finally have started on the castle. It's, uh, well, I guess we could say we've more than started. It's, it's progressing pretty well. So we've, <laughs> we've got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight towers on it already. We've got walls all the way around looking pretty cool. Some parapets and stuff going on. We've got a lot of concrete and brickwork done. Uh, we've got the main throne area done. We'll go check that out in just a second. I'm gonna leave the, we got a nice water feature on the inside, a back low seawall. So, and of course, our good old screenshot ramp up here. So let's ease on down so we don't fall to our death. And uh, the cool feature about this base is you can take the truck inside of it. All right, sheep, of course, you're gonna stand right in the way, aren't you? Gonna head into here. It's a little tight right there, and this door is like super tight. You can hit it just right, and bam, <laughs> we are inside the newest base. So we'll just park right here. I have no idea how big this thing is now. This is uh, marking our center point, so we know what we're building off of. And then we've got these towers. They're completed. There's really nothing uh, inside of them. You can walk all the way up them. They are built out all the way. Now you can walk to each tower from the inside. It looks pretty cool. We need to add some lights. We need to get some decorations. Uh, get some other stuff going on. And like I said, you can you can climb the towers. They're built. Just there's nothing in them. Not much purpose there. Some pot lights up here for lighting. And then we just look at on top of the world. 
Hey, we just made us a triple wide bridge to get to the castle, and then uh, we added lanterns and stuff to it, so it looks pretty tight. So each pole, we have a pole like evenly spaced all the way down and across from each other, mirroring each other. And then we get the lights. We left this as wood. Wait, do we actually? No, we actually called it. We took these to concrete. We left these as wood, so it should look a little bit different. But nice and clean. Steel gates and a little bit of steel fencing at the front. And then we've got concrete all the way around. The whole base is already done with cement. A little bed for sleeping while we're working all the time. <laughs> we got like another small base set up on the other side of the hill over there so, so it's out of sight while we do screenshots and look around. And then we'll head over here to the throne. It's the only area that we've completed. So we've got three stairs here. Now this took a little bit of work to get this to lay out right. So then we've got these clear glass where we can walk across the water. It looks really nice. We did a little, little bit of work around the edges here. A little bit of woodwork to make it look a little nicer. We're not going to jump off because it's, uh, it's hard to get back out of the water. You can't, even as low as this is, you can't jump back on this lip. And then we come up to here. We've got some lighting up high. We've got poles that run all the way to the roof line. It's fully sealed in all the way around. And then come into here, we put down rugs and we lift this as wood foundation just to give it some trim work. And we come up to where Death Spider rules his whole realm. This is where we do all the thinking for all the new builds. So we get a nice beautiful view out of these windows that we set here with the half glass walls. Trying to include a little bit of everything. And like I said, I, I like this lighting better than I do those, so that's why they're up so high. So it just kind of makes this place pop a little bit. And we can just sit up here and look at all the world. Like I said, we've got the nice water going around all the way. Just, to me, this, this is like one of the coolest builds I've done so far. I really like the way it's turning out. I've been wanting to build a castle for as long as... I mean, I've been talking about it, I think, since uh, since I started playing the Infected. So we're going to run into here for a second. Yeah, this tower is not done yet. We left it open. And then we can just take out the low sea walls. Again, everything's cement because it looks better than just using wood because the wood's open on the bottom. And these towers are like 14 floors high or something crazy. And we built them a little bit different so that it's got to wrap around instead of just it all being one big normal square. Got all the nice windows mirroring in, in line with each other and flipping per floor. Got a nice staircase in here. Started. And get off on every floor. And again, this just runs over, and you can walk across the top also. Like I said, there's still a lot, a lot of work left to do here. Unfortunately, those are built so high that um, once you get a certain height, things stop loading in. It's like just the distance that you are from it. And this guy's is the the latest and greatest in my build. So <laughs> I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content. And we will keep working on this base and checking out the new updates, playing some other games while we wait for more updates to come from the infected. I'm not sure when the next one's supposed to come. I know they were talking about leaking some stuff here soon. Now, yeah, like trying to get back out this door is a pain. You have to hit that door just right. Of course, when I'm sitting here talking, I miss it because I wasn't paying attention. But the truck will actually go through that. It might take six or seven, eight, ten tries, tries, but you can get through there. I don't know how I did it so easily the, the last time. And you kind of need a little bit of speed. We're not going to make it that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And we're going to hit this and do some craziness. There we go. <laughs> I should have built this a little bit farther back so we don't bounce and get stuck right there. And then we'll just make the slow climb up. Come on, trick. Four -wheel, six wheel drive. Let's do it. You can make it. Nope. As you can see, there's a little base down there where we get a little bit of power and a bunch of clay and stone extraction going on. But as always, guys, if you like these builds, you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.